माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स असलम वेलकम टू माई अकेडमी अवर अकेडमी दैर इज फकरुद्दीन अकेडमी वी शॉल डिस्कस अबाउट अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड इंटरेस्टिंग कॉन्सेप्ट टूडे विच इज हैविंग मेनी 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 प्रीवियस इयर क्वेश्चन इन नीट एज वेल एज जेई मेन्स सो वॉट इज दिस टॉपिक this topic is said to be the prism okay so refractive index of prism first i would like to explain after that, i'll do some of the problems which are related to this topic then we'll discuss we'll start the discussion now so this is a prism a triangular prism which is taken as a b and c okay mm. so these are the normals we are going to draw these are the normals we are going to draw making 90 degrees they are going to make 90 degrees so one light ray will enter from here which is taken as pq and uh, this is taken as r and s pq rs okay then light will enter it will deviate from the normal okay so this is angle of incidence and this is angle of refraction when light ray enters from rarer to denser that is from air to glass what happens it bends towards the normal it bends towards the normal and it enters from denser to rarer it bends away from the normal it bends away from the normal that is taken as i2 here and r2 these are called as this is called as ray of emergence this is called as ray of incidence this is called as incident angle this is called as emergent angle which will emerge out okay so this is the basic concept here now if this is i1 and r1 what is this remaining what is this remaining this is considered as i1 minus r1 this is taken as i2 minus r2 okay okay this is the remaining angle uh, these are vertically totally these these are called as vertically opposite angles if this is r1 the remaining will become i1 minus r1 you know about this according to the geometry my dear okay so we shall now discuss the further topic that i am going to discuss a prism by using three step simple shortcut formula simple three step shortcut formula what is the first step here first step let me discuss the first step first step is uh, for example this is pq and this is r and s this is considered as t and this is considered as u okay so t and u now let me discuss here uh, for example in triangle q u r in triangle q u r what is going to happen let us see uh, this is uh, r1 plus r2 plus u is equal to 180 degrees or you can also write r1 plus r2 is equal to 180 minus u this is said to be the first formula in three step formula this is taken as the first formula that is r1 plus r2 is equal to 180 minus u okay then what is the second formula let me discuss about the second formula also uh, second formula says that in the second formula in triangle q t r in triangle q t r this is q t and r in this triangle q t r you can write delta exterior angle is equal to i1 minus r1 plus i2 minus r2 okay so why is it so exterior angle is equal to sum of interior opposite angles okay what does it mean exterior angle is equal to sum of interior opposite angles this is one property in i mean geometry okay in geometry exterior angle is going to become uh, sum of interior opposite angles that's why we take delta is equal to i1 minus r1 plus i2 minus r2 okay so you have written like this so i can just modify this i1 plus i2 minus of r1 plus r2 okay so therefore this is let us imagine to be the second formula so in three step formula this is taken as the second formula then what is the third formula let me discuss about the third formula also next the third formula is in a quadrilateral in a quadrilateral a q u r a q in a quadrilateral a q u r let us see what is going to happen here a q u r a q u r in this angle a this angle and this is plus angle a q u a q u plus angle u this angle uh, plus angle okay so let me start from here a this angle 
plus angle AQ U plus angle U plus angle ARU uh, ARU these are going to be equal to 360 degrees these are going to be equal to 360 degrees yes you can see these are going to be 360 degrees so this is A AQU is normal that's why this is taking 90 degrees this is also making 90 degrees so this is A plus 90 plus U plus 90 is equal to 360 degrees so A plus U is equal to 90 plus 90 is 180 360 minus 180 is going to be 180 degrees okay so this is taken as the third identity okay just modification we will do A is equal to 180 minus U this is taken as third equation. This is third formula. Three step formula. This is taken as third step we can say. Okay. So in this third step, we can write like this. Okay. Hope you have understood this up to here. A can be taken as 180 minus U. This is the third equation. This is the first and this is the second. Let us start modifying. Uh, what is that? We can just modify these two. First of all. Or we can modify these two also. No, doesn't matter. Now let us see what is going to happen here. Okay. Substituting substituting 3 in 1 substituting 3 in 1 you will be getting r1 plus r2 is equal to uh, instead of 180 minus u you can write a okay r1 plus r2 is equal to 180 minus u you can write a so this is a very very important identity which is used to solve the problems so therefore i am writing this in a box which is taken as third equation next next thing is this you have to substitute here okay let me see what happens so this okay substituting 3 in 2 you can substitute this here then what are you going to get so delta is equal to i1 plus i2 minus instead of r1 plus r2 you can write a here that's it hope you have understood so i have written this one here so therefore i can write now i1 plus i2 is equal to i1 plus i2 is equal to a plus delta okay a plus delta uh, this is the fourth equation which is very very important equation i am writing it in a box so whatever is used while solving the problems i am writing them in a box so this is going to be a box next here for minimum deviation actually light ray has to go like this but it is deviating from its actual path that is taken as angle of deviation delta it is deviating the light ray which has to go like this is going like this it is deviating from its actual path with certain angle delta okay it is deviated and that deviation if it is minimum what happens if angle of deviation is minimum then what happens it is nothing but if you draw a line of symmetry in the middle here like this okay uh, the figure will become symmetrical at minimum deviation so i can write at delta is equal to delta minimum if deviation is minimum then what happens you know uh, symmetry occurs we can say symmetry occurs when symmetry occurs this angle this angle is going to be same and this is so these two r1 r2 are also going to be same we can write i1 is equal to i2 is equal to i and r1 is equal to r2 is equal to r okay so at symmetry occurs at this uh, minimum deviation when delta will become minimum symmetry occurs this point you have to remember symmetry so what i mean to say here is substitute these values here now uh, for example r1 plus r2 is equal to r okay you can substitute here now so equation 3 r plus r is equal to a 2r is equal to a r is equal to a by 2 r is equal to a by 2 the next thing is uh, this equation equation 4 what happens to this it is going to become i plus i because here r1 equal to r2 equal to r here i can write i plus i is equal to a plus delta m it takes place at minimum deviation here also i1 equal to i2 equal to i therefore 2i is equal to 2i is equal to a plus delta m i is equal to a plus delta m by 2 so i got i I got R also. R is equal to A by 2. Uh, I is equal to A plus delta M by 2. We got this. And you all know that according to Snell's law, according to Snell's law, here let me write the Snell's law here. So you all know that according to Snell's law, we write mu is equal to sin I by sin R. Mu is equal to sin I by sin R. Therefore, instead of I, I am writing A plus delta M by 2. And instead of R, I am writing a by 2 so therefore this is going to become sine a plus 
डेल्टा एम बाई टू होल डिवाइडेड बाई साइन ए बाई टू सो दिस इज कंप्लीट प्रिजम कॉन्सेप्ट ओके